That's some snow. Lloyd. Did someone just call my name? Huh. Guess I was just hearing things. Lloyd. Did you know I was your son the whole time? I realized it when I found Anna's grave at your house. How did Mom die? You know, don't you? Like Prisea, Anna was a research subject of the Angelus Project. They were trying to create a crucius crystal inside her body. When I learned of Mythos's plan to create an age of lifeless beings, I turned against him and descended upon this land, where I met Anna. So Mom was an experimental subject, just like Prisea. After meeting Anna, I realized my mistake in believing that accepting Mythos's vision would be the fastest route to reunite the worlds. I began to search for a way for a human to wield the Eternal Sword. So you can unite the worlds? Yes. However, Anna and I were pursued by Crucius. We traveled from place to place, and when you were born, with you as well. But we were finally caught by Kavar. And then Mom was turned into a monster. Her X-Sphere was removed. Lacking a key crest, the mana in her body went out of control, and she turned into a monster. When it tried to devour you, Noish protected you, and Anna regained control of herself momentarily. Noish saved me? That's probably when Noish became sensitive to monsters. Noish and Anna were both wounded. Your mother begged me to kill her. I've heard enough. Anna went out of control again and turned on you, then I... That's enough! I... killed her. I said that's enough! After that, Kavar attacked. Then you and Noish fell down the cliff along with the X-Fear. I fought off Kavar and his men and descended the cliff. But all that was left were the Desayan corpses, half eaten by monsters. I thought there was no way you could still be alive. Is that when you return to Crucius? I am the Origin Seal itself. Since killing me would break the seal, Yggdrasil couldn't just leave me alone. And you were okay with that? Even though you opposed what he was doing? Everything felt meaningless. Mythos said he would reunite the worlds as soon as Martell was revived. I came to think that as long as the land would return to normal, that would be enough. Until I met you. Me? You remind me of Mythos. Just like you, Mythos was desperately trying to save the world. He didn't give up. No matter how much he was oppressed, he was hopeful. Until the day Martel was killed. A hero. That's what people call him. Yes. But there is a clear difference between you and Mythos. Our race? No, not that. You realize that you are capable of making mistakes. Or rather, if you make a mistake, you are capable of acknowledging it. That takes courage. Mythos, as well as I, were unable to do that. The courage to acknowledge one's mistakes? We were incapable of correcting our flawed path. We gave up on correcting our mistakes. You didn't give up. If you feel that way, then you must have realized it by now. Mistakes can be corrected. It's not too late. Let's look for a way to release Origin without sacrificing your life. Together. I still have something I must do. Until I am able to entrust it to you, I cannot fight alongside you. Something you have to do? The Eternal Sword. Until I am able to entrust it to you, do not die, Lloyd. Kratos, where are you going? Do not allow Yggdrasil to continue as he pleases. He is capable of sacrificing any number of lives. Stop Yggdrasil, stop Mythos, before Colette is taken from you again. I'll stop him. I'll head to Darius Carlon and put an end to this.
Oh, Noish! What's that in your mouth? Huh? A pendant? What is... It's Kratos and... Mom? Then this baby must be... Me? <laughs> Kratos gave this to you, didn't he? Uh? Okay. I'll hang on to it. Guys, how's Altessa? Well, he managed to pull through. Some dudes from Mizuho are hanging out there to guard him, so everything is alright. Good. I need to speak with everyone. The world is never gonna change if we just wait for Crucius to make the next move, right? So this time, we're going to strike them first. Well, so you're finally ready to do it. We're gonna raid Crucius. Yeah, I have two objectives. Prevent the establishment of Mythos' new age and release Origin. But if you release Origin, what about Kratos? I don't really know yet. We don't know for certain that he'll actually die. We also don't know if he'll side with us or not. We don't have the time to worry about things we're not sure of. What do you intend to do about the Eternal Sword? Even if you break Origin's seal, you can't wield it, remember? And I doubt either Genus or I would be able to handle a sword. Don't worry about that. I've got it covered. What are you talking about? Why do you think I can use magic swords? I received magic injections with the latest in Teteala technology. In other words, I'm a human with elven blood in me. That should work, shouldn't it? Then I guess this will be the final battle. Understood. Let us end this. For the sake of uniting the worlds. Yeah. I'll do my best, too. Colette, I need you to stay behind. Why? They want you as Martel's vessel. We'll have either Mizuho or the Renegades hide you. If... that's what you want. No, I'm going too! But... <laughs> I get it. You don't think you can protect her. That is so sad. What did you say? Don't worry, Colette. I, the great Zelos, swear to protect you. Zelos! Take her along, Lloyd. They're gonna be after her no matter where she is. You ought to know that by now. Be a man! Show her what you're made of! Wow. We actually have the same opinion for once. Sorry, Lloyd, but I agree with Zealous this time. Alright. Colette will come with us, okay? Thank you, Lloyd. And everyone else, too. Does Ted Thayala really have a technology like that? It sure does. For some weird reason. Alright. Let's go kick some Crucius butt, Lloyd. Zelos, can I really trust you? What are you saying? Of course you can trust me. I'm the type that responds to people's trust. Really? Really, 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 come on, let's go!